Hey, what's wrong with you, man? You ain't subscribed yet? IEYC Atlanta Burning 2.0. What you waiting on? Get it done, do it now. Hey, get them clicks, get them likes, and subscribe. Do it now. The book of Proverbs chapter 13, verse 12. Hope deferred, make it the heart sick. Man, you know what the heart assists? The mind. It makes your mind sick. So if you don't have any hope, you're gonna go, you're gonna deal with drugs. You may deal with prostitution. You may deal with harming your kids. You may deal with alcohol. You may deal with suicide. You understand? But God said, watch, watch what God says about that though. Read. But when the desire comes, stop. Now, God said, when the desire comes, you know what the desire is? Hold the Bible up. Hold it up. This is all the promises in the kingdom of heaven. Immortality is for you. That's the, now you got hope. Right. Now you learn this Bible, guess what you're gonna have? You're gonna have the same hope us brothers in purple do. That's right. And you guess what that hope is? We gonna rule this world. That's right. That's the hope we have, sis. That's right. That's the hope you should have. You understand? Because guess what? We all in this together, y'all. That's right. You understand? Yeah. She's not the only one feeling like that. Right. And guess what? Some of us felt the same way. That's right. But guess what happened? Hold it up again. We came into the Bible and we found it. No! We're not supposed to be living like this. We're the greatest people on the planet Earth. And we're gonna rule when Christ returns. You felt so bad. You was thinking about committing suicide? I was. Yes. I was thinking about committing suicide. We hope that IUIC has put hope in you and that all praise the Lord. All right, so say shalom. Say shalom to the people. Shalom to the people. Hey, real quick. What the brother, let's read that again. I want to show y'all something real quick because why did God do this to us? Do y'all know now why God did this to us? Why we live as hard as we do? Because we're not listening to it. Because we break God's laws consistently. I got something to tell y'all. I know y'all may not agree right now. Black people hate God. Why the hell would I say something like that? Because we hate ourselves. Because we hate our damn self. Black people hate themselves. Why do we kill each other? We sell drugs to each other. We kidnap each other's little babies. We abort our babies. We do a lot of evil, particularly and primarily only to each other. Am I right about wrong, my brother? Let's read it again. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So now look what God says. If you don't listen to what God says, read. To observe, to do all his commandments. We have to know, first of all, we have to know the commandments of God to know what we're doing wrong. I mean, is, that, is that right, sis? For instance, a father or your parents tell you, hey, these, these are the rules. You break the rules, what happens? What do you do to your children when they break your rules? You what? And guess what God's doing? Hold it up higher, man. This is God's discipline for black people right here. This is how God disciplined us for breaking his rules, his laws, his statutes and commandments. Now, my question would be, why are we still living like this, my sister? Why are we still living like this? In, order, in other words, how do somebody get, how does a child get on punishment? Right. Say it again. So in other words, how do we get off of punishment? Obeying. To do what, my brother? We got to obey the commandments of God. It's just that simple, y'all. You understand that, my sister? What's your name? Naya. Naya, do you understand what I just said? You got to obey God's commandments. Keep reading. Until this day. No, nope. from the top. Verse 15. But it shall come to pass. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments, to observe, to do all his commandments, and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee, and overtake thee. Curse shall thou be in the city. So now we know why we go through the hardships we do, right? Because we don't listen 
We don't follow God's laws and we don't listen. So what do we listen to? I'll step that way, step that way. This is what black people have been listening to for a very, very, very long time. And guess what? These churches that promote this right here are all over Milwaukee. They're all over Chicago. They're all over Green Bay. They're all over Wisconsin. And they have been indoctrinating us, my sister, with what? White supremacy. That's right. Now we know why it's okay to sell drugs to each other. Why it's okay for me to just make you a baby mama and throw you away, right. or rape you, or do evil to you, Jeez, and we do yeah. it all, it's okay for me to shoot you or you to shoot me. Why? Because our lives don't, are not valued. You understand what it says? Our lives, look right here. Our lives are not valued. And guess what it says? We don't even value our own lives. We have Jeez, a self-hatred yeah. for each other. You understand what it says? And guess what? Guess what we're finding out though? That's not to be so weird to bring people on the planet Earth. That's right. That includes you too. So what we're showing you is, God said, your life is valuable. Our lives are valuable, sis. You want to say that? So we shouldn't be trying to unalive ourselves or do evil to ourselves. You want to say that, sis? Because guess what? I'm going to read something with Isaiah 60. You shut down? Isaiah 60. 60, uh, read from the text. I'm going to show you, sis. I'm going to show you you're the greatest people on the planet Earth. Bring it out, Cap. Go to Proverbs 13 and 12 first. Bring it out. I'm going to show you something. Just by looking around at our condition, we can see you're not the only one feeling the way you feel. Right. You right. understand? Trust and believe there's plenty of brothers and sisters in these homes right here that feel just like you do. That's right. But guess what? I'm going to show you something. Proverbs 13 and 12. Right. The book of Proverbs chapter 13 verse 12. Bring it out. Hope deferred. Make it the heart sick. You know what the word deferred means? Deferred. If, if you defer a payment for something, let's say you owe a payment, right. and the, the bank defers it, it means it gets rid of it. So now the Bible says, what are you doing? Hope deferred. So now, in Milwaukee right here, our people have no hope. Our hope is deferred, meaning we already have any hope. We live it for today. We believe in YOLO. You only live once. Bring it out. So we get it right now or not at all. That's what black people believe in. We don't see past two weeks from now. We see today, I might die, you know what? So I'm going to live it up today. I'm going to get high. I'm going to do drugs. I'm going to get drunk early in the morning. I'm going to do whatever the hell I want to do because I don't have any hope. Watch this. Read it again. The book of Proverbs chapter 13 verse 12. Bring it out. Hope deferred. Make it the heart sick. Man, you know what the heart is, is The mind. It makes your mind sick. So if you don't have any hope, you're gonna go, you're gonna deal with drugs. You may deal with prostitution. You may deal with harming your kids. You may deal with alcohol. You may deal with suicide. You understand? But God said, watch, watch what God says about that though. Read. But when the desire coming, stop. Now, God said, when the desire comes, you know what the desire is? Hold the Bible up. Hold it up. This is all the promises in the kingdom of heaven. Immortality is for you. That's the, now you got hope. Right. Now you learn this Bible, guess what you're going to have? You're going to have the same hope us brothers and people do. That's right. And you guess what that hope is? We're going to rule this world. That's right. That's the hope we have, sis. That's right. That's the hope you should have. You understand? Know because guess what? We all in this together, y'all. That's right. You understand? Know yeah. She's not the only one feeling like that. Right. And guess what? Some of us felt the same way. That's right. But guess what happened? Hold it up again. We came into the Bible and we found a no. Yes. We're not supposed to be living like this. That's we're the greatest people on the planet Earth. Yes. And we're going to rule when Christ returns. That's what we find out, sis. Right. And guess what? You find out the same thing now. Your life is valuable. That's you know what I'm saying? Read it again. Proverbs chapter 13, verse 12. You. Hope deferred. Make it the heart sick. But when the desire coming, when the, your desire coming, your desire for a kingdom, it is a tree of life. Woo! Sis, no. it is a tree of life. You know what the tree of life is, sis? The kingdom of heaven. No. The everlasting life. 
life says, don't go away. Oh, you gotta go? Don't go nowhere, sis. We gonna work with you. I say 60 and 10. For you. Now watch this, y'all. Because this isn't gonna just work for her, it goes for y'all too. That's right. Okay? This pertains to all, this Bible right here pertains to all of us. That's right. We are supposed to be ruling this world together, Good. not living in squalor. That's right. Shooting at each other, gang banging, Bring it selling drugs, Bring it prostituting our bodies. Uh, um, sexual abusing each other. What else would we do with those things living like that? Right. You know what I'm saying? We are royalty, y'all. Right. I hope y'all understand that. We, the book of Isaiah, chapter 60, verse 10. Bring it out. And the sons of strangers. So now, the sons of strangers. See the sign? Look at this sign right here, y'all. Look at this sign. This is the, the 12 tribes of Israel. That's These right. are our fathers and mothers and who we are today. Judah, Benjamin, Ephraim, Levi, Manasseh, all the way down. 12 tribes of Israel, my brother. That's right. Now, the Bible says the sons of the strangers, meaning the other nations outside of your nation, shall build up thy wall. They're going to build your kingdom, my sister. That's right. They're going to build. The same way we built Milwaukee, we built downtown Milwaukee, Chicago, New York, Atlanta, they are going to build. That's right. And their kings shall minister unto thee. Oh, that made me feel good right there. You know what I mean? Yeah. Their kings are going to bring their, their wealth to you. That's their right. Goods. They're going to worry about your feet. They're going to massage your feet. That's Donald right. Trump's going to be massaging your feet. Right. Joe Biden's going to be massaging your feet. That's right. Hillary right. Clinton's going to be taking care of your fingernails. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's, what, that's what the Bible is talking about. Right. Your kings and queens will minister unto you. They're going to, they're going to reverence you. Read it again. For in my wrath, I smote thee. So in God's wrath, this is what he did. He smote the children of Israel. He put our God behind in slavery, in chains. That's what, the right, that's what God did to us. He used the other nations to do this to us, y'all. Read. But in my favor. Uh-oh, whoa, 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 hold on. But God said, in his favor, you got favor with God. That's right. You got favor with God. You three got favor with God. We all got favor with God. In, in, our, in his favor. Have I had mercy on thee? But in thy favor, have I had mercy on thee? But in God's favor, you heard that, He's going to have mercy on you. That's right. He's going to have mercy on you, brother. Do you need the Lord's mercy? Hell yeah, I do too. Yeah. I've done some wicked things in my life, bro. I need the mercy. That's right. right. Guess who the mercy applies to? The blacks and Hispanics. That's, That's right. That's who the mercy applies to. You. You, you, and you. That's Real. right. Therefore, thy gates shall be open continually. They shall not be shut day nor night. Why? That men may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles. Sis, I want you to pay attention. Stop looking at your phone, sis. Pay attention. Pay attention. God, this is what God said. Read that again. That men may bring their forces unto thee. I say it wrong. That men may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles. Meaning the wealth of the other nations, guess what? It belongs to us. That's right. The wealth of the So you see how we live hard out here? Regular America. We got uh, uh, no fathers in the home. Is that right, sis? We see your parents, families, and things like that. Where did daddy at? Look at that. It's not around, right? That was miracle, Mom. So guess what? Guess what now, sis? You got something to hope for. That's you right. got a kingdom to hope for. That's right. Read. And that their kings may be brought Read. for the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee. The Bible says the nation and the kingdom that will not serve you shall perish. I guarantee you, y'all never heard that in the scripture. Oh, oh, my God, just say, let's read that again. Hey, hey what's your name, sis? What's your name? Huh? Your name, your mama named you Obsession. Am I supposed to believe that, sis? Yeah, that's my baby sister. That's your baby sister? Okay. Her name, her real name is Obsession? Yes. Okay, I apologize, sis. But I want to show you what God said about you. For the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish. Yea, those nations shall be utterly wasted. That's what God said about you, sis. That's right. But how do you get that? 
God said, the nation, listen to me, I'm, I'm supposed to session. I gotta go home and dare pray somebody. Hey, sis, God said, the nation of the kingdom that won't serve you shall perish. They're gonna be utterly wasted. My question is, how do you get that? Is God just gonna do it to you for, for anything? Because he likes you that much? What you think? Why do you get closer, bro? Come on, close. I want you to stop. How do you get that? Say it out of the money. Uh, you gotta obey and give. You gotta what? Obey and give. Obey what? God's command. You gotta obey the commands of God! Sis, sis, sis. Pay attention. I've got her. I've got obsession. Trust me, I'm teaching her right now. You ain't gotta teach obsession. I got you, sis. That's right. Watch what God says. Keep reading verse. Keep reading 13. Verse 13, the glory of Lebanon shall come unto me. Verse 14, watch, watch, watch this, y'all. The sons also of them that afflicted thee. So the Bible says the sons of those that afflicted you. Who afflicted black people in this land? Thank you, playing, Cat. Look behind me. Look at the sign behind me. Look behind me. No, behind me. Look at the sign behind me. Look, look, look. You. Who afflicted black people? Teach, Cap. Who did that? No. You can say it. Don't worry, they're not around. You can see it. Who did that? The Caucasians did that to us. That's right. It's not just talking about Caucasians. That ain't no Caucasian. That's a Hermetic African. Because you ain't no Hermetic African. That's right. You understand? So other black people, which are Hamites, they also are getting, they also afflicted us, as well as Arabs afflicted us. She's Guess what? All the other nations outside of your nations got wealthy off of the facts of our fathers and mothers. Jeez. So what does the Bible say? Read it again. The sons also of them that afflicted thee shall come bending unto thee. They're going to bend you. They're not even going to lift up their heads and look you in the eye. That's they're going to have right. a slave be the white man and say, hey, nigga, don't look me in the damn eye. Guess what? That's Bible. That's Bible. Jeez, they're going to come bending to you. Good. On their hands and knees. Good, that's that's Bible right. prophecy. Read. And all they that despise thee. And all they, listen, brother, all they that despise black people shall bow themselves down at the soles of their feet. See, I thought I was lying, sis. This is the hope you have to look for, sis. That's right. You have rulership in your in your future. Right. You understand? And under a righteous black Israelite man. That's right. You understand? It ain't that you're going to be, be telling people what to do and all that. No, 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 no. You're going to rule under your black rulership. You're meaning your black man. That's right. You understand? I want to switch the topic real quick. With, uh, who's, these, are your, these are your kids' obsession? Sis, sis. Are these are your kids right here? Is, 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 uh, are you married? You're not? Wait a minute. Why did obsession look at me like I was crazy when I said, are you married? Are you married? No! What's wrong with you being married? I'm just not ready for marriage. You're not ready for marriage? You're not ready for marriage. Oh, you got kids too? That's your kid. Are you ready? You married? No. Are you ready for marriage? Yes, I am. When did you marry? Okay. I was supposed to be married. Say, say it again. I was supposed to get married in 2019, but... Things okay, okay, okay. So now here's another problem in our black community. Single parent homes. Right. If I ask y'all, where's the father of the children? What are you going to tell me? He's at home. He's at home? So he lives with the, the, the family. Luke 7, 31. So wait a minute. Why won't he just marry? Okay. What obsession? My sister. Where's, where's that? I don't know. I don't know. Alrighty then. Watch this. I'm going to show you a problem in the black community. And give me Isaiah 3. You listen to my brother? Come this way, bro. Come this way. We're bringing out God's laws to get our communities right. Bro. That's right. Because we the, hey, bro, we the greatest people on planet Earth. That's hey, right. And guess what we can do? Guess what I can do? I can prove it all day long. That's right. I can prove it all day long, bro. That's what we've been doing. You understand? Watch it. Don't a obsession and sis. Watch this. The book of Luke, chapter 7, verse 31. Yeah. And the Lord said, Whereunto then shall I liken the men of this generation. So this is yeah. those words written away. 
Yes, sir. So when it's raining or red, who's speaking? Jesus. Right? That's right. right, brother? Jesus speaking when it's raining or red. So Christ said, what should I liken the men of this generation? Read. And to what are they like? What are the men like in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, 2024? Read who? They are like unto children. Damn. Oh, oh, oh. It's a little, it's just, it's just agrees. Obsession. You agree too? You know what the Bible says? Jesus said, these, these men out here like little kids. You agree, kids, brother? Yeah. You agree? Biggest thing, yeah. You agree? They genies, mice, all different gangs. Bring it up, they, yeah. They, they do all kinds of crazy F stuff around here, right? So my question for Obsession and Joya is why, or oh, why, would you procreate with them? Make it play, Kev. Say it again. I was 19, yeah. What does that mean? I was 19 years old. Did that mean you don't know no better? I didn't know no better. Why didn't you know better? Because I wasn't taught. So, mommy and daddy messed up. What, what, obsession, what do you got to say? Why, why, why would you do that? You said you like children, but you still had children with, with those type of men. My Please, question is yeah. why? Uh, I don't know. You see, y'all see a problem here? Y'all see a problem? We gotta stop that kind of, what's the word I'm looking for? We gotta stop those kind of actions. You understand? Because when you bring up children with no father, how successful do you think those children are gonna be with? with are they gonna be orderly or are they, are they gonna have a set, a, 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 um, a culture of disorder? Okay, so listen to me now. Why would you put the kids behind the eight ball like that? Because you're not giving them an advantage, you're having the children at a disadvantage now. Now, I want you to think about something else. I got you. Obsession. I want you to think about something else. Because you got boys. Yeah, I see I see one, two, three, four boys around here. Okay, but they, they boys nonetheless. But they boys nonetheless. If they are primarily around mommy all the time and not masculine energy, what kind of spirit will these boys have on them? Okay, I like how you walk. I said, I'm walking you into this thing. So, if they got a feminine spirit on, if the boys are having feminine spirits on them, what likely are they going to grow up to do? Obsession don't want to tell the truth, y'all. She don't want to tell the truth, y'all. Come on, Obsession. Obsession, we're trying to get ourselves right, Obsession. Come on. You don't want to say no. You don't want to say? Hosea 4-1, I'm going to show you some spirits that are going to come from single parent homes. Isaiah 3 and 12 first. Isaiah 3 and 12. The book of Isaiah, chapter 3, verse 12. As for my people, children are their oppressors. So wait a minute. What happens when, when single parent but boys of single parent households grow up to be teenagers, 13, 14, and 15. What happens? Let's read it again. As for my people, children are their oppressors. Children become our oppressors. They robbing you, breaking your car windows, smashing, grabbing the store, hustling, selling drugs, and all of that. Am I right or wrong? Those children come from primarily single family homes. Let's keep reading. And women rule over them. Wow. Wait a minute. You hear that, brother? It said women rule over these children that are destroying the black community. That's what God said. So my point is this. We cannot continue to make those mistakes, obsession. We cannot continue, sis. We cannot make those mistakes. You understand? Now, give me the other one, Isaiah, Hosea 4.1. The book of Hosea, chapter 4, verse 1. Hear the word of the Lord. You children of Israel. So, if you didn't know, sister, sister, y'all know now, y'all are God's chosen people, the Israelites. You understand? Know you are the Israelites according to God. Right? For the Lord have a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. So, wait a minute. Obsession, you heard that? God said, what's your name, my brother? JJ. God said he got a problem with us here in Milwaukee. Read that part again. The Lord have a controversy with the inhabitants of the land because there is no truth, nor mercy, nor knowledge of God in the land. Wait a minute. Did you hear what God said? Is there no 
not as your TV and vice lord out here? Yeah. Is it not as your single parent homes out here and the women rule everything out here? Yeah. Is it not as your, of busting your gun out here and gang banging? Yeah. Right. But what's not, what's missing? Read it again. Because there's no truth. No mercy, no knowledge of God in the land. But what's missing is the knowledge of God. By example, nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. is you.